Hey guys, it's Kyle Bent with HardOCP.com. Today what we're looking at is the Thermal Right Silver Arrow TR4, which as you might have guessed it, is a Thermal Right's cooler heat sink and fan unit for AMD's Threadripper processors. And uh, if you're thinking that's a, a very big box, you would be correct. But let's see what's in it. It's got this this morning. So inside we have instruction sheet, specifications. Looks to be uh, look to be well done. Let's put that over here. Okay, wow, this is a uh, the first time I've seen this presented like this by Thermal Right. So everything we need for installation is right here inside this foam pad. Uh, any vibration pads, there's our mounting brackets, here's our screws we're going to need. These are, oh, those are our standoffs. That's pretty cool. Our fan mounts and uh, everything else we need down in there. I'll have to exactly see what's going on, so let's get that out. Right. That didn't even stay together nice and nice and well too so that's really cool it's better than just having a bag full of nothing right so there you can see our cooler down in here which is obviously a, a, a twin tower type setup so inside the box besides our packaging we had this nice screwdriver here from thermal right this gives you any idea i usually keep this eight inch one around specifically for a heat sink installs and that sort of thing and so what they've given us a long enough magnetic tip screwdriver here we can actually reach all the way down so that's that's really really nice obviously you didn't have one that's uh, that's great so here's the cooler itself we're dealing with here we have a uh, eight we have eight six millimeter heat pipes into a soldered base cold plate everything is nickel plated and here's what's kind of interesting so you'll see that our heat pipes are obviously not symmetric with them coming out way further over here than over here. So what this would do, I guess actually this would be a better configuration to show you on camera, was considering if our, if our CPU was mounted here and we had PCIe slot number one right here. So this is to keep this from violating ATX specification, which I think their last one did, it did violate ATX specification. The ATX specification says how far this can come over into uh, our uh, our first PCIe slot. So this should not encroach on our PCIe slot should we have a video card there, which obviously you probably will. This is sort of interesting. These are the end caps on our heat pipes. And it looks like they've, they've dressed these up a little bit to make these look a little bit nicer. Of course, we are dealing with a twin tower design and one single fan, which will fit down in between here to give us flow. So of course our fan would install as such. Obviously we don't have the brackets on it. It remain flush inside the, uh, inside the fins on both sides. The fan itself is a Thermalrite fan. It is a model TY143PM. It is obviously a four pin plug PWM fan. Two ball bearings. This fan is rated at 600 to 2500 rpms out of the box it is rated up to 45 decibels which yeah might be kind of loud might not and but it is actually rated up to 130 cfm so that's a uh, that's very very interesting our heat sink has a thermal design power of 320 watts which would put it up there with some of the better probably two fan thin radiator coolers let's get a better look at the Let's get a better look at the cold plate. So you can see here, we got a really nice nickel finish on the cold plate. Everything looks fitted well. Let me show you this. The camera's focusing better on the reflection in the cold plate than the actual cold plate itself. So that looks really, really nicely finished. Got a little bit of machining marks in there we can see, but, but not much. And as we've come to learn with Threadripper, 
over the past year, flatness is incredibly important. That is very well done there. I'm not going to be able to show you perfectly on camera, but I'm eyeing it down. It is slightly curved, just ever so slightly across the short side. We are near perfectly flat across the long side, so we should have just a slight bit of curve diagonally. Just a tiny bit, and that should certainly help for, uh, for Tim flow. So here's our image that shows us is actually to size that shows us our die pattern here on Threadripper Gen 2 of course we'll have four dies you can see from the outside of those um, heat pipes we have full die coverage both across the long side and across the short side as well so uh, that should work out very very well so that is the Thermal Right Silver Arrow TR4 for uh, AMD Threadripper and uh, Threadripper 2 processors. This again has a TDC or TDP of 320 watts and surely we will be testing it, not just showing it off to you. This is Kyle Bennett with HardOCP.com.